This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. The United States Department of Agriculture just announced that students will continue to receive free meals through June 30th of 2021. This has all been made possible through a special program at the federal level to provide food to all students during the COVID-19 pandemic. This program allows for schools to provide meals to all students, whether they participate in their lessons through distance learning or in person through hybrid instruction. The USDA's waiver announcement to provide free meals to all students until the end of 2021 is a huge relief for our school meal program and our community, said Food Service Director at the Mason Public Schools, Christine Salmon. Many of our families may not qualify for free meals, but are still going through a tough time and are worried about how to keep food on the table. These waivers also eliminate a massive administrative burden on our school nutrition staff, allowing them to focus on feeding children. And speaking to the Mason schools, they say that families are encouraged to pick up two or three days of meals for students in grades K through 12 on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Mason Middle School and Mason High School. President Donald Trump once again blasted Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer during the final presidential debate on Thursday night. Talking about COVID-19, Trump said that Biden should take a look at what's happening in several states, including Michigan. Take a look at what's happening with your friend in Michigan, where her husband is the only one allowed to do anything. It's like a prison, Trump claimed. That's in reference to a controversy from May where Whitmer said her husband made a failed attempt at humor over putting a boat in the water. The statement went unanswered by Biden and the topic continued to move on. Michigan is a battleground state in the 2020 election, but the state is not like a prison. All is almost all of the businesses are allowed to be open with some restrictions and some schools are having in-person classes. Michigan State University is telling students to cancel those spring break plans and prepare for yet another unconventional few months. Michigan State University says that they prepare to offer 400 in-person classes and will allow about 2,500 students to live on campus. Students will live by themselves or with a suite mate, but the university is opening communal bathrooms and students will be responsible for cleaning them. MSU Residential and Hospitality Services Chief Communication Officer Kent Cooper told Fox 47 more about that decision. Ingham County Health Officer Linda Vale says the university needs to proceed with caution, but they shouldn't be too concerned about students on campus. She says the university is following all the right safety guidelines to protect their students. Vale says the increase in cases in Ingham County comes from off-campus gatherings. The county's main concern right now is to make sure that those off-campus parties remain under control while students return. The semester is set to begin on January 11th. However, there is no set date for when students will be able to move in. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand in your own community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.